Hello, my name is Ricky from Challenging the Outdoors, and today we are at Ganung Fish Camp, and we're going to be searching for Florida's most sought-after inshore species, the red drum. Behind me is Captain Adam Morley, and he's going to talk a little bit about how we're going to approach the redfish today. So we're going to be fishing this incoming tide back in a tidal flat, lots of oyster mounds with muddy troughs. We're going to be throwing top water along the grass line, hopefully mimicking some of the mullet that are back there in the grass flats and the, the mud flats, and hopefully targeting some redfish. So when you're trying to come out to new water right now, one of the key features for targeting redfish is structure. What does structure look like? Like mangroves, grass, different depth changes inside the water. Those are all good locations in finding the redfish. So we made it to our first location. There's a lot of structure all around us. We, this is exactly what I was talking about. You got mangroves everywhere and there's a nice current coming along. How deep is it over here? Uh, we're in about two to three feet of water. Two to three feet of water. So it's the perfect time to throw some top water. They don't have to come too far up to the top and they're gonna get to see it. The first lure I'm gonna try out right now is my favorite type of way of fishing. It is top water. And we're gonna be throwing the Kiss My Fish Creeper. We're gonna be throwing along all the grass edges. And I'm gonna use the Walk the Dog method to, I don't know, my favorite song. Like, I don't know, Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's the jam right now. Like, this, Adam's not convinced that Mary Had a Little Lamb is, is, is the way to go, but I think Mary Had a Lamb is the perfect way to go with this. Look what Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Lamb, Little Lamb. I'm not even doing you, it. You are not going to catch a fish if Mary Had a Little Lamb. Well, how about if Mary had a big ass fish? That, that'll that work. Uh, <laughs> Mary uh, had a about, big ass fish. How about, uh, here. Hey, look. Ah, 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 staying alive. Oh, I, 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 I can go. If you, you stay with that one. I'm gonna go with Mary had a little lamb. We're gonna see whose fish is gonna catch, who's gonna catch the first fish with their song. <laughs> All right. We know it's me. Look at that fish, man. Look at that. There was another one that, that swam underneath it. Holy crap. Oh my God. You can't even see the lure. He absolutely inhaled that. Grass again, come on. No, please. Oh my God. I'm over here all talking about how, oh, it's cold. I'm, I'm worried that the <laughs> top water bite might have turned off. <laughs> no way. about that oh what a beauty right there kiss my fish bone color I think that's a, when the bait's actually being spooked by predators versus when it's just kind of nervous water on the surface yeah like that that over there is nervous water but what just happened at about one o'clock was predatory Damn it, Adam, now I'm saying staying alive. Keep it on the fish, keep it on the fish. Oh! Did you get, did you? Yeah, it's right here. Turn oh! No! No! Oh, well. Oh my God, how did he spit that? He's got two troubles on him. See, look, I just sang staying alive again. I just sang staying alive. No, it's not staying alive. It's staying alive. Mary <laughs> had well, a well, little well, sure lamb. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> How, how's that working out for you? <laughs> what the? 
got him. You know what I got him on though? Calling in the air tonight. It wasn't very had a little lamb. <laughs> it was colored on the air. I was singing that song when I got this bad boy. Oh, I'll leave it alone. This is my fish. This is my fish. First one tonight. Let's go. <laughs> it was, thank you, Phil Collins, for the hookup. Literally, the hookup. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> Got one on the top water, right there. Where did we catch him? Around structure, around the grass, predatory places for them to go. There it is, another one. That's with slot, the... slot size, too. I'd say that's probably about 21. Ah, yeah, I, I say it's, a, it's dinner. But uh, we forgot the ice, so we're gonna release them. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go, but first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> but first, let me take a selfie. Got it. <laughs> Damn. Get that bad boy in. Get that bad boy, man. Adam, Adam was showing me how it's done. He, he cheated though, he switched up lures. <laughs> Another drum. He is a grub he used a grub tail, huh? Yeah, that curl tail. Another right solid fish. There. Another solid fish. Look at that on the skinny water lure. Those boys are gonna like that. Right there. See that? Did you catch that on camera? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, bye, I pulled bye. away just as it was about to bite it. I, I, I was beginning the reels. How? How did that not produce? There it is. <laughs> Adam Morley showing us how to do it. Oh, and Brings another one into the boat. Mm -mm -mm. That's how you do it. Let's take some pictures. Look at that. On that. Look at how in its mouth that kiss my fish is. Very nice uh, picture. <laughs> they didn't want none. The problem was that fish didn't want no palm. You know what I mean? That's the palm. Okay, so we had a good time out there, but let me tell you, the fish were broken. <laughs> they weren't broken. You, it was user error. No, they were broken. Okay, so he may have caught like a couple fish. A few. I caught more than two. See, but what really <laughs> matters was the technique that we used. He walked the dogs aiming for the peaks, he found the structures, and he found the fish. I did the 